As we begin this new year with our annual Every Nation Prayer, Fasting and Consecration Week, the theme this year is miracles. Let him be known. In 2023, we are believing God for miracles that will testify to his power and create new opportunities to proclaim the gospel of the kingdom among the nations. To begin this series, I'd like to read Acts chapter one, five through eight. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know times or seasons that the father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. In this video, I'd like to focus on how the purpose of miracles is to testify to the presence and power of God. As you read the scriptures, it's encouraging to see how consistent and clear Jesus is about what he is doing in the world. We look at the beginning of his ministry in Matthew chapter four to hear the divine announcement he made about the reason for his presence in the world. Matthew 4, 17 says, from that time, Jesus began to preach saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He proclaimed God's kingdom realm on earth as it is in heaven and demonstrated it through unspeakable miracles wherever he was present. Jesus spoke about, taught and demonstrated this one message of the kingdom realm of God throughout his entire ministry. Then the final words to his friends before he ascended were what? Yes, you guessed it. It's about the kingdom. Acts chapter one, verse three says, he presented himself alive to them after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God, which is why when he went on to tell them how the message of the kingdom would continue through the promise of the father in Jerusalem by saying in verse five, for John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. They were still stuck on the idea of the kingdom because whenever they were with the, in the presence of Jesus, they experienced things unlike any other rabbi could do. God's kingdom realm came through Jesus with such miraculous power. So when Jesus spoke about being baptized with the Holy Spirit, he was introducing much more than speaking in tongues as a spiritual badge. He was in fact releasing his spirit for the body of Christ to be created, which was a stunning miracle that people had only known after the fall of Adam, the spirit of God to dwell in the tabernacle 1500 years earlier. Then when God's presence came to dwell in the temple a thousand years earlier, where the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Now for the first time in their history, God takes up permanent residence in his people. When God came into the tabernacle and the temple, they were his home on earth and he came with fire and smoke. In Acts chapter two, the spirit of God finds a home in the human heart and he comes to his new home in power. This is the significance of Pentecost, that the body of Christ is being created there. In verse eight of Acts chapter one, it tells us that the focus of what the kingdom is about among the friends of Jesus is power in the spirit to be witnesses of his presence, the presence of God on earth as it is in heaven. It is by the spirit the apostles became witnesses of the presence of Jesus since he was physically leaving in body, but continuing his work through his body, the church, to carry out his presence and ministry into the world with miracle power. Since the birthing of the church in the first century, there has not been one generation that has been absent, a community of people immersed by the Holy Spirit to carry the presence and power of Jesus into the world. And in our generation, testimonies are being shared of miracles, such as the one that I received from a friend who had someone share with them how his sister had a brain tumor 
and she was told she needed surgery to remove it or she would not make it to her next birthday. In a worship service, they were singing a particular song and in the middle of worship, she felt something in her head. The pastor immediately prayed for her. Her next doctor visit after that service, her doctor couldn't believe their eyes. The tumor began to shrink. And as of, and this says yesterday, the, the, this was uh, just a couple of months ago, the doctor confirmed that the tumor was completely gone. As you can see in the photos, this is not just some spiritual hype to offer to get people worked up. This is verified by medical experts that no surgery was needed, just worship and prayer. What this means for us in 2023 is that miracles will be a testimony to make him known as we carry the presence and power of God into our communities and into the nations. God bless you. Oh,